In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a Born Harbor cycle. I'm also going to go through some of the calculations associated with this. Before I do that, I want to bring your attention to this. In the Born Harbor cycle, any arrow is going up is an endothermic process, and any arrow is going down is an exothermic process. The enthalpy of atomization is the energy required to produce one mole of a gaseous atom from the elements in its standard state. So for example, sodium in a standard state is a solid, so to atomize this means we produce uh, one mole of sodium in the gaseous state. Another example involves chlorine. Because we need one mole of chlorine in the gas state, we need uh, a half of a chlorine molecule in its standard state. Hence why we put a half here in front of the Cl2. Bond dissociation is slightly different to atomization. So for example, if I was to dissociate the uh, bond between the two chlorine molecules over here, I would actually end up with two chlorine atoms. And the energy is twice the enthalpy of atomization. Here are some other definitions. I'm not going to read through it right now, but you can pause the video and read it yourselves. So this question wants us to construct a full Born Harbor cycle for sodium chloride. It also wants us to calculate lattice enthalpy, which can either be the dissociation or the formation of sodium chloride. So I'm going to start off by writing down the elements in their standard states. And if these elements combine in their standard states, then that obviously gives us sodium chloride. And that is governed by the standard enthalpy of formation. In this case, that's minus 411 kilojoules per mole. We then have to atomize the sodium that requires 108 kilojoules per mole of energy that gives us sodium in the gaseous state we then have to atomize the chlorine to get one mole of chlorine and that requires 122 kilojoules per mole the next thing we have to do is to ionize this sodium so that's governed by the first ionization energy and that requires 496 kilojoules per mole we then have to um, add an electron onto this chlorine that's governed by the first electron affinity of chlorine, which is minus 349 kilojoules per mole. So now we have our elements in their gaseous state and um, in the ionic state as well. If they combine, then we get the lattice enthalpy of formation, except that we don't know this value. So we have to calculate it from all the values that have been given to us over here. So to calculate the lattice enthalpy of formation for sodium chloride, we need to understand that there are two ways of getting to sodium chloride from this cycle. So one involves the standard enthalpy of formation, which is minus 411 kilojoules per mole. I've called this route A. The other route takes into account all of these intermediate steps over here to get to sodium chloride, and I've called that route B. The thing I want you to understand is that the energy change in route B is equivalent to the energy change in root A. So we can write this down as an equation. So if I take the sum of root B, including lattice enthalpy of formation, which is unknown at this stage, all that is going to be equivalent to uh, root A, which is minus 411. Next thing we have to do is to take the sum of these numbers. That gives us 377. We move the 377 over to the right hand side, which turns it into a negative number. We then subtract these two numbers over here and we end up with minus 788 kilojoules per mole. You can tell that this is the lattice enthalpy of formation because it has a minus sign in front of it, which means that energy is given out as the bonds are formed. If you wanted to calculate lattice enthalpy of dissociation, you would simply change the negative sign to a positive sign. So it become plus 788 kilojoules per mole. So now I'm going to show you how to calculate the electron affinity. So here's a question from one of the Unit 5 uh, AQA chemistry papers, which wants you to construct a fully labelled Born Harbor cycle for the formation of barium chloride. And it also wants you to calculate the electron affinity of chlorine based on the values given over here. I'm going to let you pause the video so you can have a go at this yourself. So what you should get is a Born Harbor cycle that looks something like this. The enthalpy of atomization for chlorine has been multiplied by two because there are two chlorine atoms in barium chloride. Barium also has two ionization energies, which are shown over here, plus 503 and plus 965. The first electron affinity of chlorine has been multiplied by two because once again we have two chlorine atoms in barium chloride. This is important because once we work this uh, answer out, we should divide it by two to get it for one chlorine. 
lattice enthalpy of formation is given to us, which is minus 2056 kilojoules per mole. So now we have two roots of get into barium chloride. Uh, so the key thing to understand is that the energy change in root B is equivalent to the energy change in root A. So we can represent this as an equation over here. Next thing we have to do is to take the sum of these numbers over here. We then have to add those two numbers, move the minus 164 to the right hand side so it becomes a positive number, add those two numbers and we get minus 695. Now we have to divide this minus 695 by 2 to get the electron affinity for one chlorine. So our final answer is minus 347.5 kilojoules per mole.